Hello my fellow Spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Marty King. So it hasn't been that long since I left off, only a day or so. I just thought I'd come back right now because we have a few things in our traps. So what do we get? Two dead rabbits. Nice. We are very, very tired. I started off just because I wanted to show you that I have caught some rabbits. Still haven't leveled up, barely caught anything since I left you off. That They're the first things we've caught. So not great, but technically trapping does work throughout winter still. We just need to keep our stock of cabbages and things like that in the freezer going farming does also work throughout winter but it doesn't rain so you have to make sure that you're on top of watering them bear that in mind this episode the plan is that we are going to finish off our watchtower that we started i chopped down plenty of trees which i will show you in just a second so i was getting incredibly frustrated because we burnt through all of the chip stones we had i went foraging couldn't find any more getting frustrated but i remembered we did pick up some wood glue and we had the axe from the very beginning so i fixed that up as much as i could that gave me enough to basically chop down this entire bit which is plenty of planks to get going so we already had about a hundred before i chopped down the rest of the trees. so this is enough to keep marty going probably throughout most of winter the only problem is that we have barely any nails we still need at least another box if not another two and the easiest way to go about getting that would be to go back to the country club take apart some more chairs and then head back however that's not particularly interesting we've done that a few times already so i think what we're going to do is we're going to take the car we're going to go down the road and we're going to go to a couple of the houses on the way to west point uh, there's also a partially built house i think i can deconstruct some of the walls from that and then i can actually go into that house so pretty excited about doing that at that point, we are very, very close to going up a level in carpentry. I might actually do that before we leave because we only need to build one like one more fence. And I think we'll be at level seven, which will mean that we'll be able to make the better uh, rain collector. And at that point, that should be able to hold a lot of water and Marty shouldn't have any water problems anymore. OK, it took three, but still we're, <laughs> we're up a level. Uh, can we still make the rain collector? We can. Excellent. So I think we'll go up to here on this side this time there we go and then we've got a massive rain collector how much can that hold can we see rain collector 400 and how much can the other ones hold 160 so that's a big upgrade that's pretty cool so let's chuck the planks on the floor so we've got 26 here we've got another like 70 odd out here but we've got all the logs so we could just uh, get easily about 200 odd planks from that no problem whatsoever got a little farm still going which is nice i'm gonna want to before anything else as well make a little place where we can farm carrots because we kind of need them to be under shelter so that they don't get overwatered because carrots are quite easy to overwater and what i'm planning on doing is where should we do it let's do it over here so uh it's one two three across so about here we'll do we'll do one there and do that along the side and that should be fine for carrots. We're not going to need that many, but they're really good for trapping, especially for rabbits, which is what we want. Oh, there's a tree there. I didn't even notice there was a tree there. That will be fine. There's loads of space there. Uh, what we will do is we'll open the pack of carrots. There we go. Lovely. And we should be able to sow carrots. Uh, how many do we need? Average water 35 to 85. Yeah, that's fine. 12 per. That's fine. Let's water these to the max of 85 so 35 on them we'll do 35 for all of them 30 there and then we're going to want another 20 oh whoops i think i accidentally overwatered that one. Oh, it's fine but the other ones are watered to 85 which is great Watch these two rabbits what's the nutrition on both of them 76 92 that is a big old rabbit <laughs> cool so let's chuck the rabbit in here uh we'll check the condition on the generator fuel is at 40 Ooh, that's gone down low quick. Let's turn off the add fuel. There we go, that's fine. Uh, a little bit of gas in there. That's not too much of a problem. We will take one of the empties. We'll take one of the folds just for our vehicle when we go in the morning. Pretty good. Right then, and let us go to sleep. I'll see you guys in a minute when it's the morning. Okay, it's the morning. 9.20, we're fine. A little bit, little bit cold, but it's fine. Grab a couple of potatoes for the road. Uh, five will do. Chuck them in there. We'll quickly go check the trap box before we set off, but I think we can basically just set off. We've still got some potatoes growing back there, so uh, we're going to have plenty of food for winter. One of the freezers stocked up already. The other one's nearly there. 
well, we should have plenty of food. We've we've even got some tin food. I bought a couple with us just in case we do get desperate on our little trip, but I doubt we will. But I think Marty has enough to last at least a couple of months between all the food, all the non-perishables he's got, frozen stuff he's got, and all the gas. It's fine. Like that one gas can, it went down to the generator went down to forty percent from eighty, so it dropped in half. But that was over like the space of what a week. So he only needs to get through really the next sixteen weeks realistically it's like if it dropped down 40 percent over the course of about a week he's fine okay remove trap that's fine we're gonna leave them for a bit one still might trap some you never know let us eat a nettle or two tasty tasty let's go down the road uh do we have everything else that we need we've got the katanas just because we might as well use them now that we've got them uh we've got hammer we've got saw i don't think we need anything else Barry's doing well. He's snuggled up nice next to some nettles and a can of tuna. He's doing great in there. Really, really good. Ooh, bread. How much do we get? Half one. That's really good. Ooh, and a dead squirrel. Okay, well, we, <laughs> we didn't find anything trapping, but we just picked one up foraging. That's fine with me. Uh, oh, God, we're finding loads of stuff. Empty notebook. Oh, God. No, get out of that. <laughs> Let's chuck the bone of meat away and a couple other bits we picked up and let us head off. Right, no longer hungry. 11 o'clock. The car is in awful condition, but there shouldn't be too many zombies on the way. The car can, I think, hold, like we said, about 100 or plank, something like that. That's, uh, that's fine. But really what we're after is any extra loot from any of the sheds and nails. And then we're going to head back, finish off the watchtower, and I think we'll end the series there. I think Marty's exceeded my expectations for the series. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would. We've basically made it up to winter, and he's still coping absolutely fine. Oh god, there's a lot of zombies around here. Huh. Okay, didn't expect that many. This is what I'm thinking about. There are a couple of crates and walls and stuff that we left at the last place down here. So we technically could deconstruct those. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct those on the way back uh, just because round here is fairly safe. And I'd rather deconstruct the stuff this side earlier on than do that later on just because I think it makes more sense. But there's probably enough from deconstructing the various crates and the rest of the walls probably to get at least another 20, 30 odd nails, which isn't enough, but tied in with hopefully what we can get from deconstructing the other sheds and walls and stuff, maybe, just maybe, we will have enough to finish the watchtower. Kind of wishing I brought the other car that was in better condition now after uh, <laughs> this car's on like, I think it's 9% engine condition and um, it's already stalled twice. Mm, it might have been too big a risk to take this car, but it's got the most space in it. It's come with us a long way. It's come with us on most of our journey. So I think it's fitting if we use it till the end. Right. I think this is our first stop. I don't know how much we can deconstruct here. Can we deconstruct these fences? We can, but we get screws from them, don't we? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go down here, see if there's any sheds or anything we can deconstruct. I'm not sure if there is here. We can always test. Oh, zombie. I love katanas so much. Right, we've got a table here we could deconstruct. Uh, no, not going to work. Okay, deconstruct the table. Come on. Six nails. Boom. Worth it. I don't know what the white picket fences give us. Can we deconstruct them? They give us nails. Okay. I see if there's anything better that's potentially more interesting. There's a shed there. Can we deconstruct these walls? No, it doesn't look like we can. That's a shame. Uh, we've got a garage there quickly see we've got a fence we can deconstruct five nails okay not too bad i guess now the garbage bag take it oh god jesus that was close you were quiet uh we've got another generator but it's back there and yeah we can't disassemble that <laughs> okay go back to the car we'll keep pushing up so i know there's a shed up there and there's a barn there and there's a house there but i know there's nothing to deconstruct really up there maybe a bench or two but that's about it so what we're going to do while it's stuck, while the time is pressing on, we're going to move over to a couple of other houses that I'm pretty sure we can deconstruct the sheds and, uh, yeah, potentially get some nice loot from them. So let's try and avoid all the zombies so that our car doesn't break down in the middle of nowhere. That would be really helpful, wouldn't it? And, yeah, there it goes. I think regarding sleep, what I'm going to have to do is put the vehicle up against a wall driver's side and go to sleep in the driver's seat and that way zombies shouldn't be able to get to me through the opposite windows i think that's the only way it's really gonna work we have been across these vehicles before but we never actually went up to the house let's go up to the house now see what we can get 
Can we deconstruct these walls is the question. I don't know if we can. Seriously, we can't? We can't deconstruct it. This one is a no. I thought we could disassemble this. That's a massive shame because there's loads of stuff in there. Uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, is there anything else we can deconstruct while we're here? Might be able to deconstruct some of this, I guess. Oh, these give screws. Yeah, of course they do. No point deconstructing them. No, okay. Bit of a waste, this one. Hopefully we can get into the next one. Because if not, we're going to be going back to uh, deconstruct the whole of that white picket fence that we found. Right, here we go. So we've got another house here. We've got the road going down, which leads to the house that hasn't been fully built yet. This house doesn't have a shed. However, it does have a table outside that we can deconstruct. Let's deconstruct this one. Then we'll push down to the other house. Hopefully we'll be able to deconstruct that one. And then we'll go from there. Right, a couple of nails. Not too shabby. There's nothing else, though. Uh, a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Actually, think about it. We should probably be taking the planks with us. I mean, it can't hurt. There we go. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to park this car up against the side of that wreck just so that we know that it will be safe for us to sleep in. There we go. So, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So we know that it's safe in the driver's seat now. Okay. I suggest what we do is, although we're not particularly tired yet, that we go to sleep and do it in the morning. I'd much rather kind of try and do all of that first thing, first light, then risk going down there and as it's starting to get dark and uh, not be able to see what I'm doing. So, yeah. But we've already got 15 nails, something. So I'll see you guys in a second once it's the morning. Right then, 7 in the morning, <laughs> minus 0.3 degrees. Pretty nippy. Uh, it should go up to positive in a little bit, but it does feel... 5 to 10 degrees colder than it actually is, so it's, it's going to feel cold. But Marty's a trooper. He can cope with a little bit of cold. Oh, we forgot to pick up a screwdriver. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well. We'll take any watches and stuff we find uh, with us. That's fine. Let's uh, push down a bit further to this house. There is just on the end there. See what we can get. See if we can deconstruct anything. So, here we go. Here we go. Uh, kill that one first. Are there any other zombies dotted around? I don't think so. So the plan is hopefully that I can deconstruct this wall. Oh, zombie right there. Come on out, Mr. Zombie. Thank you. There we go. We can deconstruct this wall. And once we deconstruct this wall, it will be less than 50%, so we should be able to go in. So we should be able to get plenty of nails doing this. Uh, can we deconstruct these pallets? We can. Great. We should get plenty of nails and stuff from this then. Right, okay, I've deconstructed the whole of this side of the wall. That means the whole building technically has less than 50%, so I don't feel too bad going in. Uh, another rope, pipe wrench, I suppose can't hurt. And we finally got another screwdriver, excellent. Keep looking round. Another one, hand axe, nice. Right, and deconstruct all these crates. Uh, we'll take the hammer. We'll also take the shovel just because. 16 nails, is that all we get? It's not much. Uh, deconstruct that. Four nails. Right. How many nails have we got all together now? 72. Not quite there yet. Paintbrush and some paint. Uh, we could pour that out, actually. Have some more buckets. That'd be particularly helpful. There we go. We can collect some rain in them. Excellent. Let's keep de deconstructing these walls. Ooh, we've got a pickaxe. Nice. Keep deconstructing everything. Another eight. So we're eight short our target for at least one more. Keep deconstructing the walls. Come on. Ooh, we've got over a box. Excellent. Right, it's getting really late. Let's go back to the car and we'll go to sleep. And in the morning, we will start again. But one box of nails already. Pretty good going. Right, it's the morning. It's the morning. Let's go keep deconstructing this house then. Right, it seems like the only time I actually get nails is when I deconstruct the fully made up walls. If I just deconstruct the frames, it doesn't actually give me anything. So I'm going to just stick with deconstructing the actual walls. We should still get plenty. We've got 21 nails now, 25. So we should be able to just about get enough to do a second box. Right, so doing all that, we got another box and a half. Uh, we've also got a ton of planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ferrying these back and forth to the car. We're going to spend one more night on the road and then we're going to head back to base. Right, it's actually really late, but that's because we spent all night uh, shipping planks to the car. But the car now has a number of planks, 6, 12, 18, 21. We've got a few on us. The trailer has a fair bit in it. So we are taking back a fair few planks. Nowhere near as many as I would be able to if it's in decent condition, but it's better than nothing. Eat the tuna, eat the sardines. A very fishy dinner for Marty today. <laughs> 
Uh, just hungry, not very hungry. That's something. It's probably a good thing we're going back right now because we've got no more food on us apart from the one ginseng, which I don't really want to use unless I absolutely have to. Bit of poor planning on my part, but we got what we came for. Two and a half boxes of nails, and I was only really after a box and a half, so we've done well. Right, oh, turning up here. Here we go. We still have the one headlight <laughs> that's working. Let's head back to base now. We'll go to sleep. We'll uh, tuck Barry in for the night. And then in the morning, we can finish off the watchtower. Oh god, really? The wheel's gone. Seriously? Oh. Okay. Bit of a setback. Right, um, we're gonna have to take some of the bits out, I guess, then. Siphon off the gas. God, I feel so sorry for the car. It part with so much. Only to literally die moments before we got back to base. Our base is there. <laughs> oh, if it just survived a little bit longer. Such a shame. We had so many planks in here as well. Well, I suppose at least we know it's always here. Oh, but Carl, you did so well. Oh, it's just gutting. <laughs> the only problem is now it's pitch black. Uh, we're a little bit encumbered with no water and no food, apart from this, to keep us going. I think we're just going to have to eat this. I don't really want to have to eat the snail. We're going to have to make our way in the pitch black. <laughs> oh, what a way to end. Just to add to uh, Marty's troubles. That the car that's got him so far that I thought the engine would give out any moment. Actually, it's the wheel that went. <laughs> it's typical. Right. Well, let's make the long walk back. It's probably going to take us till early morning to get back. But hopefully we don't come across any zombies along the way. What do we do? What do we do? We might have to forage. Hope we can come across some berries or something. Because otherwise we're... Uh, Probably going to be starving by the time we get back. Okay, we're very hungry and we're thirsty. Um, we haven't come across any zombies so far. I say that and then there's one right there. A little bit concerned because I literally can't see anything that's either side of the road. I just have to stick to the middle of the road and hope for the best. I saw about 10, which is what I'm worried about. Right, uh, zombies up here. I don't know how many. Looks like at least four, but there could be some on the other side of the road that I can't see because it is too dark to see there. Luckily, it's going to get light in the next hour, hour and a half. We just need to part with this for a little bit longer. We'll be okay. Okay, we're at these wrecks. Not that far back to base. The little stretch of road. We can make it. Okay, got one here. Another. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I'm so glad I bought these katanas now. One there. Oh, God, it's so dark. I can hear another one. Where are you? There. It's dying to get light. Another digital watch. Keep pushing up. One here. It's light enough that we should be able to just go through the trees. We might get lucky and be able to forage something along the way. Some food or something. Lemongrass, not exactly what I was looking for, but I'm not going to pass lemongrass up. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm after. Carrots. There we go. A tasty carrot for Marty's troubles. No zombies around. I think we're fairly safe. Oh, well, that was, um, that was a little bit stressful. I just feel sorry for the car. It got us all this way. Oh, it was so much. And, uh, only to die just before the finish line. Such a waste. Such a shame. Let's grab a potato or two. That's fine with me. Uh, how are the potatoes doing, actually? They're harvestable, but I don't think they're seed-bearing yet. No, they're just blooming. Uh, that's got a disease, apparently. A little bit worried about that. We might need to think about harvest the one with the disease on it, just to make sure we actually do get something from them. Uh, we'll have a look at the others, just to make sure that they don't have diseases. I think one other did. This one. In the corner. Okay, harvest that one. And that gives us 14 potatoes anyway, which is loads. We're also going to want to plant some more potatoes and some more cabbages and things because they grow fairly quickly. So let's grab a uh, trowel. Here we go. Grab some seeds. We'll plant some stuff up. Right, here we go. So dig some furrows. There we go. And let's plant some more stuff. Right, that'll do. That's plenty. We'll chuck all this stuff away. And then in the morning, we're going to finish our watchtower. And yeah, just let Marty relax. And uh, yeah, just have a nice time. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, now we've actually got a couple of rope, though. We can make the four log stacks, which is incredible. Significantly easier to carry lots and lots of planks at once. And yeah, and let's just take all these planks and uh, start the process of making this watchtower.
Do we need fences like here? No, because we can't actually get to it anyway. So we could, might as well just build it around the outside that we can technically fall off of. Right, and that's like the first step done, I guess, because we can't fall off. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's the first floor done. Just need to get some more planks. Keep doing this. Right, so that's the second floor done. It's annoying that I made it like this because now I can't actually put walls on that side. Like, I can't put a wall there. I think I can put... Oh, no. Yeah, I could put a wall, like, here and I think here. Yeah. But I can't put a wall there, there, or there. Bit stupid of me, but oh well. Uh, but let's go to the next floor. Keep doing it the same thing annoyingly it looks like you can't place pillars in corners where you've built a fence already and even then it still doesn't always work it's a bit weird uh but i'm building pillars whenever i can but it might look a little bit weird at the end because there might not be pillars in every single corner <laughs> but anyway uh let's keep building these fences right third floor is basically done we've just got a little bit more to go and uh yeah we're good it's coming along not too shabby really is it Got the protection so we can't fall off. This is nice. Only a couple of floors left to go. How many nails do we still have? We've got loads. Apparently we've got two there for some reason. We've got 170. And I think we still might technically have a little bit more. I don't know if I picked up all the nails. Uh, there might still be like another 50 odd somewhere. So I think we've got enough. We're about halfway through now. Yeah, we've got another box full. There, we're good. <laughs> we don't have any problems. Yeah. We'll uh, get a couple of potatoes out to Thor for the morning. We'll go to sleep and we'll finish this off in the morning. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Let's quickly take this cabbage. We'll go over to the traps and we will pop them down. Uh, where's the other trap that I dropped on the floor? There it is. Right, take that one. We can put that back down again. Uh, what's over here? What's over here? A caterpillar. Don't really want that either. Ooh, thistles though. Nice. Some extra non-perishable food. Don't mind if I do. No! Oh, balls. <laughs> um, we can make another one. It's fine. There we go. It, it's fine. We can just make it straight back. It doesn't matter. Good. Oh, at least we didn't lose out. We go and add bait. Ooh, that was weird. They just appeared out of nowhere. Cool. Right, they're all baited. There's a little bit left. Uh, chow down that cabbage. Tastiness, we're still a bit hungry. Uh, what's that? Acorns. Right, uh, they are perishable, but they're fairly good. Five of them as well. Not too shabby. Cockroaches, cool. Need all the bugs for fishing later on. Ooh, row tips. I think they're non-perishable. Yeah, they are. Good, and you can use them for trapping with birds and stuff. Birds quite like them. That's really good, having non-perishable stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> some corn. One corn. Okay, well, that's going in the freezer for a rainy day. Excellent. We're getting loads of food just doing this. And it is November, so it's fine. We can still do this until December, I think. But we're getting lots of mushrooms. Lots of food, which is really cool. Right, anyway. Let's head back. <laughs> Wants me to forage everything at the moment. Guess what, Caterpillar's fine. Fine. Fine, I'll take all the mushrooms I can get. They're all going to go in the freezer. So many mushrooms. Seriously, we've got 11 mushrooms just from the, the last, like, minute and a half. <laughs> Let's go chuck all this tasty food in our freezer then. I'll keep us going for a little bit. Cool. Right. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go finish off this watchtower. That one wild cabbage gives us minus 58 hunger. I think that's twice the size of a normal cabbage. I think a normal cabbage gives you 25. I'm going to quickly check that. Yeah, 25. It's more than double the size of a uh, cultivated cabbage. <laughs> that is a huge cabbage then fence wooden fence i don't know why i can't build one there every other floor i can but for some reason on, on that angle you can't doesn't matter right keep building right and there we go the uh the monstrosity of a tower is finished it's it's not particularly structurally sound it's a bit wobbly it's not quite up to building regulation standards but it's a testament to marty's work testament to everything that he's done so far He's pretty proud of himself. Right. So, I've given Marty a little haircut. He's gone back to his original ways. His hair was getting a bit mental, so we've now cut it. To top it all off, we need to give him a bath. That's a wash himself. Wash all his clothes. 
And I think what would be a good way to end the series is if Marty was to don his ranger gear once again. I mean, he's still wearing his green ranger t-shirt from the very beginning. It hasn't come off. Still wearing it. But I think Marty deserves his ranger jacket and his ranger shirt on over the top. Proper ranger duty now. It's a shame we don't have the matching hat. But I think the cowboy hat is going to have to do. Right then. At this point, just to finish it off, let's uh, turn off the generator. We are going to disconnect the generator. We're going to take the generator. Uh, we will dump it, where should we put it? On the top floor, I think, would be good. Let's drop it here. Right, so the generator's up on the third floor. Let's take everything from here. This, I think, can potentially just go here. I think it should work if I just drop it here. Uh, we will chuck all the food in here once again. Okay, there we go. All of that done. And then we go up two floors. Should be plenty. Uh, we should now be able to connect the generator up. We should probably fix it. We've got some scrap electronics in our inventory right now. There we go. Let's have a look at the condition. 82 fuel, 100% condition. Turn on. Oh, it's still using the... Okay, turn off. Disconnect. Try going up one more floor. Uh, let's drop it in this corner. That might be a bit better. Right, just the popsicle freezers being powered. Excellent. So, that means it's a bit more fuel efficient. We shouldn't have any issue now with noise. That's good. And the popsicle freezer is on. Excellent. Right. So, I think what we should do is harvest these potatoes because they're now seed bearing. And then, it, I think it's time to call it a day on the series. We've done everything we set out to do. Marty has survived. His uh, ranger instincts have carried him forward. He's overcome his issues. He's overcome his claustrophobia. Extreme claustrophobia, really. <laughs> um, he's overcome difficulties, challenges. He's overcome it all. He's done so well. So, I think it's a good a place as any to leave it. Marty couldn't quite believe it. He'd spent so long beating himself up about his illness, about his difficulties, about the challenges he faced. But at the end of the day, despite all of this... He'd still managed to build this fort, this watchtower, and make a new life for himself. From here, he could see the splendor of his surroundings. He had survived the unthinkable. He had thrived where others had perished. He had kept going when others had given up. And as winter was approaching, he knew that the survival skills he'd learnt up till now and improved upon since the apocalypse would see him through. He had ample supplies of food, clothing, scrap electronics, water, and with his popsicle freezer and running generator, he had enough power to keep himself going, even through winter. He was optimistic for the future. He hoped one day that he might be able to overcome his illness and step inside once more. But as he looked out at his surroundings, with the open sky and nature all around him, he realized he had never felt so calm, so at peace. And he knew in his heart of hearts that everything was going to be okay from now on that he could cope with whatever life threw at him. And with Barry at his side, he knew he would never get lonely. He hoped one day, maybe, just maybe, other survivors might come along, see this place that he had built, maybe even call it a home. Maybe he could help found a settlement here one day. Who knows what the future holds? But Marty knew one thing. He had survived, and he had lived. And on that note, guys, I'm going to call it there for the series. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you've liked Woo Sim, please leave a like and subscribe. A huge thank you to all my Patreons for making this all possible. Pet, Drew, David, Clint, David, Aaron, Mikhail, DeBlog, Rai, Kalara, Len, Andrew, Alex, MBH, Nexus, Lobby Nord, T Chaos, Tall Man, Nacho Cheese, Jack, Mikey Soundcloud, King of Thorns, Pasco Cordova, Man Long at Carl, and Maylene. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and the channel. It's just amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support. And that's it. This is where we end Marty's adventure. This is where we leave him on top of his watchtower, looking out at the river, the forest around him. This was an interesting series. I've never done anything like this before. Living fully outdoors. I'd never really got that deep into the foraging system before now. And I can safely say that I really, really enjoy it. I know lots of people struggle with it, but after all of this, I've got a new perspective on it. I don't think people give it enough credit. I think it is a really fun little addition to the game. And especially at higher levels, it can be extremely overpowered, being able to find basically anything on the floor. It's pretty cool. And it's definitely worth the investment you put into it. I've really enjoyed the series. It's been, it's been a lot of fun.
something a bit different. Not too much roleplay like I usually do, but I've enjoyed doing the challenge. I've enjoyed doing the different experience. It's been really fun. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a new series. Cheers. Bye-bye.